In this video, we're going to continue our sound design series. I want to create a few noises, a few things that I can pull into an arrangement to add interest and dynamics. So in the last video, we created this sort of low end rumbly bass sound with a lot of distortion. In this video, I'm going to create some of the more atmospheric pieces that I know that I'm going to need. Let's uh, jump right in. All right, so we're back here in EnergyXT. You've just got a blank project up again. Now what I have in mind is to create some swells or some transitional pieces. And I want to start these with synthesizers and then render out the audio so that I have those building blocks that I can use in the arrangement and manipulate in a little bit easier way. The way that I'm thinking about this is not to go in and open up a, a project and create my arrangement. What I'm using my DAW for is for sound design. So I'm, I'm working in steps. So everything that I do in this project is going to be around creating a sound, not a song. So I'm going to start with a plugin and I'm going to open up my folder here. I've got some plugins in here. If you're interested at all in where I find some of the VST plugins or even what VST is, maybe I should make a video about that. Um, but let me know in the comments. All right, so I'm going to use Tau Noisemaker, Toga Audio Line. Um, I've used their stuff for a very long time, and this is one of the free synthesizers that they have available. This is the Noisemaker. Here are... This is just the... The default patch. Um, we can see there's a lot of stuff going on in here. So it actually has a really nice filter section an envelope section. This is like the same thing as the Tau Filter 2. So Tau Filter has a standalone uh, filter and I'll show it to you here. So I'll put it in on this channel as an insert effect, Tau Filter 2. And we open that up and we can see it's almost identical. And what's cool about this filter is that it can modulate over time and it can be in sync with your project BPM. So I, I use this thing quite a bit. And for now, I'm just going to turn that off. I really like the filter too for creating movement in my sounds, which I did in some of the stems that I rendered out from our last session. We're going to create a noise, not necessarily an instrument. I don't, yes, I don't need this to be very tonal. I want it to be more atonal, kind of like white noise or rumble, something like that. So I think that there is some white noise. I'm going to, down to the effects section in the presets. Here's Alien Storm. Let's see what that sounds like. So that's just the patch itself. Definitely more atonal, sort of just a noise. So I'm going to go in here and create a D note. I don't think that it really matters, the note, but just to be safe. Okay. And so I've created a note that lasts four measures at 120 BPM. I could make that longer, but I think that's probably going to be enough for this. Now let's use our filter to, to give it a little bit more movement. So I will select this part and render this as an audio. And I'm going to keep it in stereo, just the selected part. So it's going to cut it off before that um, completely fades away. We'll take care of that in our wave editor. So I'm just going to save this to the desktop. This is going to be Alien Storm. Riser. Okay. So we've just rendered that as audio. And have it now on the desktop. There it is. And I'm going to use, you can use Audacity for this. You can use wh whatever. I like uh, Ocean Audio recently because you can open multiple files in here and it's just very quick. I really just want to be able to see the waveform and this renders the waveform very nicely as you can see. And basically, all I really want to do is fade this out at the end. Da, 
that's it. So I can just save that and it's done. What I'm gonna do is create a new folder. I'm gonna call it transitions and I'll put my alien storm riser that is now edited right in there. There it is. Let's go ahead and create a few more while we're in here. We can make changes to this filter. We can make changes to the soft synth here and start to create more brushes essentially for us to paint with later on. Perhaps I'll try some things in here, maybe change this up and just kind of experiment with some randomness. So for the filter inside here, I need to set this to affect something. Maybe we'll try oscillator one. Okay, so I've just been playing with some of these knobs. I added some sub oscillator. I changed the phase and the um, the oscillator waveform to a triangle. Now that does have a little bit more of a tone to it, but I know that it's gonna be in the key of D, so that's fine. So I'll go ahead and render this out, and this will just give me some variety some different pieces to play with. So again, I can just go ahead and drag it in here, open it right up. And I will also apply an effect in here. I'm just gonna normalize it. So this is interesting. It may work as an instrument as well as just a transition effect. Okay, so that is saved now. I'll add it to my folder and maybe just one more. One more variation. We'll change our, our filter as well. We'll make it go the other way. and maybe a really fast, almost something maybe more rhythmic. Pretty cool. We'll try that. That may work as a, a rhythm loop. Again, we'll just open this in our audio editor and get a look at it. We might not need to do anything to it, but it, I just like to look at the waveform and see. Okay, so I'll go to normalize. We'll normalize that to 90. Very interesting sound, so we'll save that, add it to our folder. Now we've got three transition effects. Now, like I mentioned, I do have an idea of how I'm gonna use this, but one of the things that I find really enjoyable is to maybe use these in ways that I didn't intend and find really happy accidents that inspire me in another direction, or I'm able just to kind of stumble upon something that maybe I normally wouldn't have without doing this kind of a process. So. Right now it's just about essentially capturing audio and curating a collection. In this case, I'm generating the audio from digital equipment. So just using 
Tal's VST instrument noise maker, as well as their Tal Filter 2. We've created a few building blocks that we can use later on. So check out the next video for more. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.